What are you doing to that goose, Magnum? What are you doing to that goose? What are you doing? Oh, you're gonna get the ball too? <laughs> gonna put his goose on the ball. No, McGee said no. He said, no, he's not, Mom. No, he's not. Ah. Mickey, we bought you a new ball. You want this old ratty ball? Oh, there's this new ball right over there. Look at it. Nice ball. He wants the ratty ball. It <laughs> has no ear in it whatsoever. You guys all want it? You all want it? I can't even kick it. <laughs> I think I need to throw the old one away so he plays with the new one. Yeah. Where's your goose, Magnum? Magnum, where's your goose? Why are you looking at Max over there? Max, what in the world are you doing to my mulch? What are you doing to my mulch? <laughs> so I just got, happy Friday, guys, by the way. Um, I just got done cleaning up all the landmines. I did not do it yesterday. Um, I just wasn't feeling the greatest. I, not that I was sick sick, but just wasn't uh, feeling the greatest. And uh, and it was freezing yesterday. Today it's a little more mild. Um, I was, it was freezing and I was like, I'm just not, I'm not doing it. But you know what? You don't, you don't pick up the landmines for one day um, with six dogs. Uh, you pay for it the next day because it's a poop fest out here. <laughs> yes, it is. It is a poop fest out here. And I've been cleaning up poop for about 20 minutes. I need to get a... I got my poop can over here. Um, I need to get a poop can for like back in the corner over there so I don't have to walk all the way over here when my pooper scooper gets full. So, anyways, enough about poop, right? <laughs> um... <laughs> When you got six dogs, there's a lot of poop. Anyway, um, I thought I'd get on here and give you an update on Mozzie with his blood work. Well, if you remember, Monday, I took him to get the blood work. The doctor was out sick, so they told me, hey, we'll have her call you with the results. And I said, okay, that's fine. Um, well, <laughs> Milo always just flings his body when he jumps for that ball. Um, I said that, you know, so Tuesday came, she didn't call, and I thought, well, maybe she's out sick again. Um, <coughs> get out of there, boys. Get out of there. No, we don't need to eat bird food. Go on. Um, so Wednesday came, and came about noon, and I thought, hey, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to call Dr. Pearson and um, leave a message. Hey, don't forget to call me. Um, so... Wednesday came and went, no call. So, so Thursday came, I left another message and they said, we will get, we will get it to her. And I said, okay. Um, so I was gone getting my hair done and it, I was leaving there. It was five o'clock. I still hadn't heard from the doctor. Whoa. <laughs> um, so I'm like, you know what? I'm passing by there on my way home. I'm stopping in. This is ridiculous. Why haven't they called? So I stopped in and they said she's with an emergency case right now. You're more than welcome to wait. It's going to be about a half hour to 45 minutes. And I said, no, um, I can't. Going out to dinner with family. Please, please have her call me because I know Friday, which is today, I know she's off on Fridays. I said, I don't want to wait all weekend to find out the results. So about 6.30, she called me when I was out to dinner, so I stepped out, um, so I wasn't talking on the phone at the table, and all the people around us didn't have to hear my conversation. Um, uh, she got his results and told me that his ALT scores have come down even more, which is wonderful, but then proceeded to tell me that the other tests, the vet tech didn't dilute them. Um, whatever that means, they didn't run the test properly, so I've got to take Mozzie back Monday at 9 a.m. I was very perturbed. <laughs> I'm very upset about it. I, of course, don't have to pay for them, but it's just the point that I've got to take them back again. It took so long for them to even call me. 
um, if she would have looked at them when I originally called, I could have had this all taken care of this week and got it done because I'm very, I'm not, I don't want to say I'm very worried, but um, the numbers that were high due to him taking the steroids, I'm very anxious to find out. Sorry, I'm just kind of pointing at the yard at no one. Very anxious to find out um, if those have come down any. Um, because, you know, taking steroids can um, wreak havoc on the body sometimes. So, um, yeah, so he's got to go back Monday now to a place he hates going to and get more blood work done. And they're over here. There's no hardly any bird food on the floor. There's floor, the grass, ground. Go on, go on because I took away the bird feeder that was dropping all of the uh, bird food. Mozzie, go, go, Magnum, go, go. Let's go, get away, get away. Um, but they're still finding little morsels uh, from it. So yeah, so anyways, um, yes, ALT scores have to get him right in the face. ALT scores are doing good, we just gotta go back Monday now and find out about the rust so yeah that's what's going on um all right I'm gonna um finish doing what I'm doing out here Mozzie get away from there get away you go over there go potty <laughs> I'm gonna go in and show you guys the couple of Christmas cards I've gotten and um, I wanted to show you a steam cleaner I got I had to get a new steam cleaner because mine broke and this one um, was pretty reasonable price um, I got it at Meyer on sale um, and I wanted to show it to you guys in case you guys are obsessive about keeping your floors clean like me it's a pretty good uh, steam cleaner uh, for the price so let me go inside and share that with you all right, here's the steam cleaner. It is by Hoover, and it's called uh, the Power Scrub Elite Pet. Um, I love this thing. <laughs> I had an old Bissell Pro Heat. It's not the new model. It's an old model. I probably had that thing for 13 plus years. Um, it died, and I had to find another one. And while I was looking for another one, I couldn't believe how expensive they were. Um, I don't remember what I paid for my old one, but I was like, I am not spending $300 on a steam cleaner. <laughs> and I needed one that had um, uh, upholstery attachment to it. So this one does. Um, you attach it um, right here. Uh, they're hanging in my closet because um, that way I can clean my couches and chairs because my dogs are allowed on our furniture. So I had to make sure I got one with an upholstery cleaner. Um, I like this one because the the dirty water and the clean water are separate. My old Bissell was all in one and I couldn't stand it because I couldn't clean it good after using it. Um, so this one, this top one here, you fill the water on one side and the solution on another. That's what I like about this one too over my old one. The solution, you had to mix the solution with some water. This one you just pour the solution in, your water's on the other side, um, and then your dirty water goes right into this. And this thing is so easy to rinse clean after you uh, shampoo your carpets. I just steam clean my carpet out where the schnauzer tree is because there's carpet in that room. And that's where my dogs and the cats are probably 95% of the day. Um, they're out there on that carpet. As soon as they run in from outside, even wiping their feet, they run right through here and right, right onto the carpet. So when I clean that carpet, <laughs> which it wasn't brand new carpet when we moved in, so it was filthy, let me tell you. Sting did a great job. It also has a um, wash in a rinse so after I washed it um, this will the wash will mix your solution in with the water so you can clean your floors and after I washed them then you can go to rinse where it'll just take water without the solution um, and rinse your carpet from any leftover uh, shampoo in the carpet so yes I really like this thing I got it on sale at Meyer for $139.
Um, I don't know what they run normally. I didn't check the price to see what they were normally. Um, I'll try to find an Amazon link for this and link it down below. And I'll also link it in our um, Amazon store. So I thought it was a really, it's a really good machine for the price because there's some out there that I was looking at that, like I said, or are almost $300 or over $300. Um, and I think this thing works really good. And it's not real heavy, which is nice too. It's a lot lighter. I mean, it's heavy because you're going to have water in it and stuff. So that adds some weight too. But my Bissell, my old Bissell Pro Heat, it was really heavy. And my arm was killing me after steam cleaning the floors. Thankfully, this house doesn't have much carpet. It does upstairs, but dogs don't go upstairs so there's not much traffic upstairs so that'll probably get done like once a year but um yeah this thing really works good this is not sponsored no one sent me this product i bought this with my own money so i just wanted to share in case anyone else is looking for a steam cleaner this year all right guys i wanted to share the cards i've gotten since the last video of me sharing what i bought the boys in the kitties for christmas if you haven't seen that video i'll link it down below if you want to check it out um the first one is from barbara and this is her nada i hope i'm pronouncing that right n-a-d-a n-a-d-a because in case you couldn't hear me that over the squeaker over here <laughs> Who is that? Oh, it's Marley. Here, let me throw that squeaker for you. <laughs> All right, the next one is from, I believe it's Chuck and Darlene. Um, it says, it's not a schnauzer, but he's awfully cute. And yes, he is. Thanks so much. And this one here is from Bonnie Dan. <laughs> Bonnie, Dan, Tiffany, and their fur babies, Jasmine, Brady, Riley, and Cat Oreo. This is Happy Holidays. Thank you. Um, this one here is from Patty and her Schnauzer Kinsey. And I did get your email, and I believe you've already seen my response to it. So here's the card she sent. Thanks so much. And then the next one is from, they're actually a little crazy because it's almost time for their uh, dinner. <laughs> this is from Meredith, Zach, Stella, Stella, and Remington. Okay guys, sorry for the weird break in the video. I'm editing my video right now and my camera had shut off when I was sharing Christmas cards. Um, I realized it did, but I thought I got more footage than I did. <laughs> I thought I had gotten through sharing all the Christmas cards, but I didn't. So I'm breaking in to the video right now to share the rest of the cards. As you can see, it's later at night. I'm in my PJ pants and a hoodie. <laughs> so let me share the rest of the cards. This one is from the Graysons. And they're holding their schnauzers in the picture and they're so cute. Thank you guys. And then we have this one here from Richard and Betty Peck. So cute, I love it, thank you guys. And then this one is from Stacy and her schnauzer, Lisa. Sorry, the guy, the the lighting's weird now because it's later on at night. But thank you guys so much. So I wanted to make sure I got the rest of the cards in. So now we're going to go back to the <laughs> the other video footage where I realized my camera turned off. And we will see you guys later. Bye. Sorry about that, guys. My camera abruptly turned off because my little disc in my camera was full. So it just like cut off recording when I was talking, so I apologize. I had to delete some footage off of it. I should do that more often, but I just keep filming and filming and forget to delete stuff. So <laughs> anyways, what I think I was saying was um, I had some notifications that there are packages packages coming. Um, so if you've sent me a package and wonder why I'm not sharing it right now is I have not got it yet. So as soon as I get those, I will share them um, in whatever video I'm making. Um, so I want to thank everybody again for the Christmas cards so far. I love getting Christmas cards and 
um, reading your guys' messages and um, if you send pictures of your pet, I just love it. So thank you guys so much for sending Christmas cards. Um, okay, so I'm gonna end the video here. I'm busy, I got my apron on because I'm busy making little Christmas treats. Um, I have a family party this weekend. I've also gotta make uh, some Swedish meatballs and a couple pans of green bean casserole. I went to the store today to get green beans and cream of mushroom soup and the fried onions, you know, all that good fattening stuff for your green bean casserole. And they were almost all out of green beans. I couldn't believe it. There was like a couple cases on the um, top shelves. I had to have a gentleman help me. He was looking for green beans too. Got them down and got the green bean which we needed because we didn't want to go to another store. And um, I think I was telling him, because he was there too for green beans, for green bean casserole. I said, everybody must be making a green bean casserole this weekend for family parties. It was just so funny. So, so what are you guys doing this weekend? I'd love to know. Um, this time of the year where now it's getting to the middle of the month. Um, things are picking up and getting busier, right? What are they doing back there? What are you two doing back there? Maggie, what are you doing back there? <laughs> Yeah, it's getting really busy. So, all right, guys. Um, I'm going to end the video here. And we will see you guys again next week. So, enjoy your weekend. Enjoy any Christmas parties you may be going to. And we'll talk to you guys again in the next video.